In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Once again, welcome to today's Eucharistic celebration. Friends, coming together as God's family in faith, let us offer this Eucharist to the Lord. Lord Jesus, you reveal to us your Father, Lord, have mercy. You show us the way to our Heavenly Father, Christ, have mercy. You are the light that shines in the darkness, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Our reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The next Sabbath, almost the whole town of Antioch assembled to hear the word of God. When they saw the crowds, the Jews, prompted by jealousy, used blasphemies and contradicted everything Paul said. Then Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, We had to proclaim the word of God to you first. But... Since you have rejected it, since you do not think yourselves worthy of eternal life, we must turn to the pagans. For this is what the Lord commanded us to do when he said, I have made you a light for the nations, so that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. It made the pagans very happy to hear this, and they thanked the Lord for his message. All who were destined for eternal life became believers. Thus, the word of the Lord spread through the whole countryside. But the Jews worked upon some of the devout women of the upper classes and the leading men of the city and persuaded them to turn against Paul and Barnabas and expel them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in the defiance and went off to Iconium. But the disciples were filled with the joy and the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Responsorious Psalm, all the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made known his salvation has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. 
All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. If you stay in my word, you will indeed be my disciples. And you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, you know my Father too. From this moment, you know him and you have seen him. Philip said, Lord, let us see the Father, and then we shall be satisfied. Have I been with you all this time, Philip, said Jesus to him, and you still do not know me. To have seen me is to have seen the Father, so how can you say, let us see the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak as from myself. It is the Father living in me who is doing this work. You must believe me when I say that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Believe it on the evidence of this work, if for no other reason. I tell you most solemnly, whoever believes in me will perform the same works as I do myself. He will perform even greater works because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask for in my name, I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, man's desire to see God is seen in the words of Philip. Lord, show us the Father and we shall be satisfied. Though the disciples had lived with Jesus, they did not understand him. And Jesus takes this opportunity to affirm his identification with his Father. The words Jesus speaks and the works he does are the proofs of his sonship. And the disciples preach the gospel in the name of Jesus and the works they did, they did in the name of Jesus. Now, we cannot heal a paralytic or a blind man or raise someone from the dead. But we can always act in the name of Jesus, carry out God's plan, and thus make present God through our life. Just as Jesus revealed his Father through his life, let us try to reveal Christ through our lives, especially in this difficult time, keeping our faith and trust in the Lord. Bless the Lord of our creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth he has given, and him and hands have made. 
It will become for us the bread of life. Let's study a lot of our creation for three goodness. We have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine, and work of the human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, graciously sanctify these gifts and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, our universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts sing together, the anointing him of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Mighty holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrothed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, sighing, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, go to his disciples, sighing, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. That partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Antonia Bishop, and all the clergy and the entire people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have placed the youth throughout the ages, we may merit to be Christ's eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with the confidence in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fight of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us pray for God's peace in our lives. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, how mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, how mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring our Lord that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, everyone.